So what are we going to accomplish together as part of MP2? So MP2 builds on top of MP1. So you're starting with um, an app that can display a list of courses in sorted order and also can search that list. Um, what we're adding for this MP is the ability to click on a course and see more detailed information about that course. So this is my solution. Um, this is a not beautiful. If I was actually going to show this to anybody, I would probably clean it up a little bit and have the UI be a little nicer. But this is all that really has to work, um, is that now I have the ability to click on things in the UI and it's going to load up a detailed uh, page with information about that course. So this is what we're driving at for this MP. Checkpoint, sorry, for MP2. So, you know, this may seem pretty pretty basic, um, but there's quite a bit going on here. Um, and we're gonna work, we're gonna walk through it and work through it step by step, one piece at a time. So the first thing is that we need a new model to represent the information that's gonna be displayed. So that's something you're gonna design and, and implement. Uh, we need support on our server for retrieving the information that's required. So you'll see that the UI only uses certain pieces of information about the course to display the UI. But when I click on see more details, there's another piece of information. So I need to be able to retrieve that from the server. Um, I need support in my client that I'm using to actually get the data. So that's part of the app that you'll have to work on. And then also I need this new activity to display the information. So there are kind of four big parts of this. The course model, being able to retrieve the information from the server, being able to, um, sorry, provide the information on the server, retrieve the information from the client, and then uh, view the information in the UI. So, work through those one at a time, step by step for this MP. Um, this is a bigger challenge than the last checkpoint, but don't worry, we got you. Uh, we're going to work through it step by step. We're going to understand it together. A lot of this is based on you understanding the existing code and being able to imitate it and mimic it uh, to build new features in new ways. And so, we'll walk you through what to do step by step. And I think you will all do really well on this. So have fun. Um, and when we're done, we'll have an even more functional course browser for you to enjoy.